who, of course, we're looking forward to see who takes the lead. Now, as an assessment of life skills and educational attainment among young learners in Kilifi, Bungoma, and Kitui counties revealed concerning gaps that show a worrying picture. Well, apparently, a major position or portion of students cannot read, write, or count properly. The study conducted by Zizi Afrik Foundation incorporated learners aged 13 to 17 years. Of those who were assessed at the end line, only 56% and 46% could read a story in Kiswahili and English, respectively, as Andrin Kilimi tells us. In a bid to enhance competencies among learners, Zizi Afrik Foundation implemented a project across selected villages in Kilifi, Bungoma and Kitui counties to evaluate the reading, numeracy and writing capabilities among students aged 13 to 17 years. Badele ya kutembea tu ni village, wanaka soko, wanaka idol. This camp has helped them very much. Kwa sababu that time ya kutembea wanakuja camp, tunakaa na wao tunasoma wanakuwa busy tunawapatia homework pia tunawapatia storybook wanaenda naye nyumbani at the end tunajikuta wao watoto sasa wamekuwa committed ikifika tu saa tisa wanajua tunaenda class hakuna kwenda kucheza shockingly the assessment revealed that out of the 15000 students assessed at the baseline only 52% could read a story in Kiswahili of those assessed at the end line only 56% and 46% could read a story in Kiswahili and English respectively. One of the things we are also realizing is how much uh, this disconnect exists between the school and the community. So learning, yes, happens at school, but is rarely supported or complemented within the community. The assessment was carried out by a team of youthful volunteers who underwent six months of training before engaging in the evaluation process. They were trained to assess children's life skills, including communication, critical thinking, and problem solving. The energy and the resource we have in our youth in these communities if you're really able to activate and equip them with the tools that they require to lead and champion change, I think we would witness a lot of traction towards uh, community change, not only in the area of learning, but even in the area of just development, uh, broadly speaking. However, not all children enrolled in the camps completed the 30 days in the learning camps. Teachers addressed inconsistency in attendance as a primary challenge encountered in their endeavors to improve education levels in rural areas. Challenge number one, ilikuwa yo ya absentism. But vile, tulienda tuka collaborate na walimu, na venye tumekua tukifanya parental visitation. Ime tusaidia, at least yo kesi absentism, ime teremuka chini. A call has now been made for more parental engagement in learning and especially for the male parents and guardians as they control resources that could be invested to enrich the learning environment at home. Andrean Kilemi, TV 47.